Good morning, children. Today we are here to discuss Unit Nine of Electric Current of Tenth Class. We are going to discuss. Within this, a topic called as factors affecting resistance. What are the factors affect resistance? In previous class, we have seen what are those temperature, nature of the material, length of the wire, simultaneously area of cross section or thickness of the wire. These all factors will affect resistance. Within that. We have completed an activity two in which how the resistance as well as temperature, how the factor called as temperature effect upon resistance. In this class, now we are going to discuss about nature of material and resistance. How the nature of material will play a vital role in offering resistance. To perform this activity, I have taken material required R. Copper rod, metal rod, aluminium metal rod, iron metal rod of same length of 5 centimeter and same thickness I have taken. Not only that one I have taken a bag, a cell, which is an ammeter as well as a key I have taken it up. Where key is used to switch on or off the key, whereas A is used to measure how much quantity and meter which is used to measure how much current is flowing through this certain materials. Between these two points P and Q, what I am doing? First of all, I am taking copper metal rod and I am connecting in between those two terminals or those two points. Then switch on the key. Allow the current to be get flow for two minutes, two to three minutes. Allow the current to be get flow. Note down the reading of amplitude. Then afterwards, switch off the key. After switching off the key, slowly take off the particular copper metal rod aside. Then replace it with what aluminium metal rod. Then on aluminium metal rod of same length and same thickness, replace between P and Q points. Then again, switch on the key. After how many minutes? Same interval of time, two to three minutes. Observe the current flowing through the circuit. Note down the particular current flowing through amp meter and keep the particular current as first current is I1, second current is I2. Simultaneously, for iron metal rod also, you place connected between these two points and will allow the current to be get flow for two to three minutes and measure the current and note down those. Current also there, and a bit constant potential difference. We are not changing potential difference. Potential difference V is remaining as what uh, constant. A constant potential difference. Observe the values of I1, I2, as well as I3. As I1 is of copper metal rod, I2 is of aluminium metal rod, I3 is of Iron metal rod. Observe the current flow of those three different materials. How it exists at constant potential difference. If we observe for the current reading, we can find that I1, I2, I3 are different for different materials. Different values of current can be given for different materials at constant temperature. It indicates clearly that as the values are varying continuously, resistance offered by material also will be gradually varies depending upon flow of current. Why means resistance offered R is always inversely proportional to current. By using one Ohm's law diagram, the magic triangle of the tender V I R. If I require R. V by I, the V is nothing but what constant potential difference. One by I 
means what? Inversely proportional. If resistance is more, current flow will be low. If current flow is low, resistance offering will be more. If resistance is less, current flow will be more. Therefore, depending upon the nature of materials, depending upon the nature of materials, different flow of current. The different flow of current indicates that each and every material is having a nature of offering of resistance, but it will be differ from one another. By that we conclude clearly that nature of the resistance of a conductor, resistance of the conductor mainly depends upon nature of material also. Nature of material also. For iron, different nature will be there. For aluminium, different nature will be there. For copper, different nature of resistance offering will be there. For uh, copper, R1 resistance will be there. For uh, aluminium, R2 resistance will be there. And for uh, iron, R3 resistance will be there. These three resistance are different. As the current flowing is different, resistance offering also will be different. If current decreases, resistance offering decreases. If current flow is decreases, resistance offering will be gradually increases as resistance is inversely proportional to current flowing through a circuit a constant potential difference. This is activity 3 what we can study. Simultaneously of activity 3 perform activity 4. What does this activity 4 gives information? It gives information about what? Length of the conductor and resistance. Length of the conductor, how it will be play a vital role, vital role on resistance. Let me see it. Material required are taken an iron spoke of same length, of same thickness, but different in length. First one is what are taken a metal uh, iron spoke of 5 cm, other one is of what iron spoke of 10 cm, whose thickness is same, length is different. Between these two, I will hit about the battery itself, we are required there itself. Amp meter is required. Key is also required for on off. First of all, take an iron spoke of 5 cm length, fix it between these two points, PQ points. After fixing it between these two points, PQ points, then afterwards, what you do? Switch on the key. As the key is switched on, certain amount of current I, one current starts flowing through, I spoke of length is equal to 5 centimeter. For the time interval, nearly 5 minutes or 2 to 3 minutes, or 5 minutes time interval allow the current to be get flow through the particular by. Note down I1 current. As we are getting I1 current, obviously we will get what? R1 current as I is inversely proportional to R therefore if I is greater R will be lesser you measure that particular one simultaneously after that switch off the key take out the 5 cm length of iron spoke rod of same thickness aside then again take 10 cm length of the wire 10 cm length of the wire I have taken and connecting in between them now the distance becomes as what 10 cm allow the current to be get flow for 5 minutes till 5 minutes allow the current to be get flow after allowing current to be get flow measure the reading switch on the key after switching on the key allow the current to be get flow for 5 minutes after that note down the amp meter reading we will get I2 current we will get what current here I2 current will be get. As we are getting I2 current, resistance offering also can be get or can be obtained there itself. Resistance offering of will be also get that is R2. This is for 10 cm length, this is for 5 cm length. If you observe the values of I, I1 as well as I2, a constant potential difference. If current is less within the, if, it, if you are taking the current is flowing is less, then what happened? There will be, the current flow will be lesser, it will be decreases with increasing the length of the wire. It indicates nothing but what? Resistance offering will be more as the length increases, as, so that what happened? Current flow will be, flow, will be gradually decreases. We know that R is inversely proportional to I, 
as the length of if current flow is less within the length, within the wire whose length is greater it indicates nothing but what resistance offering is gradually increases due to that reason current flow in that particular wire gradually decreases it indicates that increase decrease with the decreasing current indicates increasing in length increasing in current indicates decreasing in length of the wire vice versa if you go it up increasing in resistance indicates length of the wire decrease in resistance indicates decrease in length of the wire if length of the wire is smaller less resistance it offer so that more current can be get flow if the length of the wire is enlarged it is it is increased then how then what happened there itself as the length of the wire is increase resistance offering will be gradually increases current flow will be gradually decreases based upon that we can frame our formula that is nothing but what resistance offered by wire is directly proportional to a geometrical factor called as length as length increases resistance offering will be gradually increases as length decreases resistance offering by a wire will also gradually decreases that will be explained clearly within this activity 4 whereas activity 3 nature of the material and resistance activity 4 length of the conductor and resistance activity 5 Area of cross-section of the wire and resistance, or thickness of wire and resistance. In next class, we'll discuss about that particular concept. Thank you, children, for watching.